Following a presidential tweet storm, it's always good to get the insights of our chief Washington correspondent and Face the Nation host John Dickerson. I spoke with him earlier. John, on Twitter Sunday, the president offered his own readout of the Putin meeting, writing, quote, I strongly pressed President Putin twice about Russian meddling in our election. He vehemently denied it. It is time to move forward in working constructively with Russia. What are the implications, John, of that as a statement of the administration's position? Well, there's, it's, a, it's a bit at tension with itself, because on the one hand, the president is, uh, wants to clear up any misimpression anybody may have about how tough he was on the Russians, which is to say he wants to make sure that people believe that the actions he took in that meeting were commensurate with the offense. If that's the case and he's interested in doing that, then it would seem um, at odds with that that he wants to move on, because this was an issue so serious that he had to press the Russian president twice. The president talked about a joint cyber unit with the Russians, which has gotten um, some uh, derisive comments from both Democrats and Republicans since he announced it. He also tweeted that about, about that this morning. And on that point, what audience is the president targeting with the announcement of that cybersecurity unit? I suppose it's the audience that he always is, is targeting, which is the, his supporters. Um, and his argument is that this is a big development. This is a, a, a takeaway from the warm relations he was able to create with the Russians. And it was clear, as we discussed in our panel today, uh, that the objective here, both from the president and the secretary of state, was to present a picture of a very warm, cordial, uh, mutually respectful relationship between the president and Vladimir Putin. All right, John Dickerson in Washington for us. John, thanks. Thanks, Elaine.